Hello and welcome everyone to another, um, what is it? Dark Anthologies, or yeah, the Dark Pictures Anthology. Now this one is the third game in the series. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any more or not, but this is House of Ashes. And um, I have seen no gameplay, no gameplay of it other than like trailer stuff. But I do know that Ashley Tisdale is in this game. That was one of the main ones why I was like, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Like, you know, it's like, ah. So um, it's not super late, but I do have to be like, not like super quiet or anything. Well, because the best time for me to do this, like doing gameplay is later at night. Because then I've done like most of my stuff done for the day for like, you know, main channel and shit like that. So yeah um everything is recording everything is good so with that being said i'm actually very intrigued because the first one was okay the second one was better oh wait or is this the fourth game in the series because there is little hope the man of medan or is it just those two in this you know whichever one it is i honestly cannot remember so um we're gonna start the game Okay, so we're obviously going to play alone because, you know, your girl's got no friends, so. <laughs> and I'm actually, so instead of using my actual, like, big monitor PC, I'm using my laptop and hooked up my Elgato and everything through that to play because when I tried hooking it up through there, it just wasn't hooking up. It wouldn't hook up to the TV correctly, so I was like, you know, whatever. I know my computer works with it, like my laptop, so I was like, okay, so what if I use just my laptop for just uh, gaming videos? I was like, well, that's that's fine, you know, I can use just my laptop for gaming videos, the other one, like, you know, this for other stuff. So I was like, okay, perfect. So if there is some lagginess, that is why, or like if something goes haywire, that bear in mind that's what's going on because like I said it just for whatever reason I don't know if I hooked it up wrong or just something wasn't plugged in correctly and I tried different ports I don't know I don't know if maybe just or, or if like you know the PC was maybe dusty I don't know and I was like you know I'm done fiddling with it because I fiddled with it for like an hour and a half and I was like I'm freaking done with this shit and I kept hitting my freaking head on my goddamn desk so I was like you know what I'm done so that might have been it, but, um, so we're finally going to get into this game. I'll probably do, like, the first hour or so-ish, or whenever I think is a good, uh, stop, point to stop. So, new game. Uh, challenging or forgiving? Uh, your skills will be tested. Survival is... Wait... Survival is expected. Your skills will be test. I think I do challenging on all of them, right? I think I do challenging. Because that's about medium. Because then lethal is death is inevitable. I think I do challenging. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I really hope I didn't screw up my gameplay <laughs> already. So, like I said, I, I've i not seen anything. So, as soon as, like, um, as soon as I, like, finish the game, that's when I actually go back and watch people who have played it, you know. For they have swung the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind something something. Every choice has a consequence. Yes, I know. Some decisions save lives. Ah, shit. Others lead to death. Okay. Choose wisely. I don't like this already. Oh god. This is gruesome already. Jesus Christ. The cat. 2000. 
two, or two, two, three, one eighty, or BC, or BC. No, I don't want to die. Silence. Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Velato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. What the frick? You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Oh. Wait, used to choose, uh, say nothing, reluctant, um, compliant, uh, 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 uh. My king, would it not be wise I don't know why it did, but... She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> oh, 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 gee. Oh, shit. that one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel good about that one at all. <gasps> oh, I don't like that. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Heal? I have no idea what's happening at all. that one oh I hate that I was gonna say it was not one bit but I, I hate it so I I hate every bit of it gods give me strength Oh, he's already dead? Forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. Oh shit.
Help me with this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot which was circle for a second, and then I realized I was like, oh crap. <laughs> I don't have a controller that's got the buttons on here. But sometimes looking down, I'm like, okay, I know which one it is now. Because triangle, egg, square, and circle. So. There is a way out through this door. Door? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Oh, shit. Sure about that? Because I don't think that Old was just a rat. For nothing. They died in vain. For a mad king. Okay, hold on, I gotta change something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Sorry. It was, it was bothering me. There was like a glare, so I had to like... Ah! What is that? Huh. Interesting. So it's like these little tomb thingy, like, cause usually so is a picture that, uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to open that. Here. Shit. Help me with this. I, I thought it said inspect, not open, shit, oh well, it, it is what it is. You first. We're safe down here. You first. You know, I don't blame you. I would be saying the same thing. I'd be like, you first, bitch. Like, no thank you. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Uh, worry about your own. Hide. We have to help others. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. Yeah, I don't, yeah. There is always hope. What was what? that? Yeah, I was like, what's that clicking click? Clickety clack. Yeah, no shit, Einstein. Oh, where did that guy go? Oh, shit. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, I thought I lost him. I was like, oh, shit. Over here. Oh. Nope. That's not good. Oh, hell no. Huh? 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Uh fight, I'm gonna fight. I'd rather stick with him than betray him. Cause I just gained this trust. Oh. Oh. Yes. The sword and the shield. Sweet. Oh. And I gotta reset camera so I'll be right back as well. Of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Okay. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? No idea. Let me speak plainly. Okay. You're about to make some difficult decisions. I already Decisions have. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. Yeah, I mean, we kind of already knew that. play out will become clear over time. Will they? I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I, I know where I am. I'm at home, sitting right here. I am playing the, curator, the game. The custodian of tape. Ah, that's who you are. The purpose is to keep a record of everything you do. Every decision, 
or mistake you made. I already made a mistake. I, I forgot to this press This is my uh, repository. This is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life. And death. And death. Ah, I knew it. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. I was gonna say you have helped ish. Not like the greatest, but to ish. Descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Thank you. Uh, I I didn't have or a choice. Or extremely but foolish. Probably the second one, yeah. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let me give you a few words of advice. Okay. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible allude. outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. See. But, alas, but I somehow always never. Sans time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Gotcha. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Iraq 2003. Oh, okay. Okay, this is going to be a real serious, serious. Okay, okay, okay. Jason Kel Kelchek, confidence something. Oh. Good trip. Eric King, Lieutenant Colonel, USAF, something something. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, the senior meeting room prepared. Apologies for arriving. Apologies early. for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. I'm glad to have you on board. I don't know. It just seems Things are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. Wait, isn't she want? in the last game? Uh, this is my assistant. Careful with that case. This is. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Doctor Clarice Stokes. Gold check. First Lieutenant, cold check. Well, wow. the briefing room? What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? What the hell? Rachel King, CIA field officer, something, something. Abrasive. Uh, Nick K, uh, defensive romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Oh wait, she's cheating on? Put your clothes back on, straighten up. Hey, right, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Uh, I'll find a way to tell him, uh, we should put this on ice. You know, I'm actually gonna say nothing. Say no more. I get it. I, I never choose nothing, but I, I, I didn't like either of the options. Oh. Okay. Loading, okay. That was weird, right? Okay. Really hope that didn't corrupt my footage. Mm. 
But the assistant, wasn't she in little hope? We'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We've got the CIA, we've got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless yeah. America. Oh, no, we can't say nothing. Okay. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, well, this here would like to watch me get my sweat. Huh? You look you familiar too. Lady. Can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. Oh. So just malfunction. Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. I'm your commander. I'm Eric King. You know, we're just going to be polite. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife. Uh, we know each other. Uh, Rachel you know, and I, I just gonna say. we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. <laughs> nice one, Hotshot. <laughs> Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, <laughs> we like to think of it as a term of endearment. <laughs> Do you know? Right. Let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff oh, to you. This? And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal. Subject, uh, survey group object what is this place objective. Anyway? Looks like an old uh, directory uh, exactly of central intelligence. Directorate of central intelligence. Oh. The objectives of the survey group <laughs> are as stated. Uh, Organize the direct me. intelligence so capabilities across Collation, government agencies, and armed forces. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit. Son of a bitch. I was reading. God damn it, I'm a slowest reader. I'm sorry. Colonel King. This is King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. 
I should have called. This is my team now. And I've been pretty I nice on you, this honestly, one, so. Forward. That's on me. But things escalated. I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Uh, briefing, 1500 hours. What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. Pioneer away. You behave Sorry. like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's oh enough, God. Merwin. Sir, what's your goal? Uh, we keep it small. Uh, our request air support. We keep, uh, this we thing keep small. it small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchek, it's not your decision to make. Ah, it's shit. Right to you. Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. <laughs> That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. 
Uh, Eric, <laughs> we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. I've missed you. This is our big break. Uh, I don't know if I've missed him or not, but... Rach, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the Oh, I thought it was her. Oopsie, for. my bad. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll we'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Ah, I should have said I missed you. Shit. Wait for the download, speak to team, and inspect the briefing room. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Oh. You're afraid of heights? So you're my technician? Uh. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. What's this? Hmm. Okay. Do I get to read that paper that I was reading like forever ago? Oh, okay, good. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> okay, let me finish reading this. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Um, apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Uh, organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD uh, sites within Iraq. The survey groups, the survey group reports direct to CENTCOM and Director of Central Intelligence. Operational findings in support of Operation Iraq Freedom uh, to be published quarterly from 6-1-2003. Ah, interesting. Okay, so then I want to talk to you. Oh, wait, nope. Reading, reading. <laughs> uh, confidential, uh, upper 
Iraq survey groups, uh, SCPB, Mailman, uh, something, sitcom, a bunch of stuff, <laughs> subject bandit, uh, activity, so, so, Saran, uh, district report disappearance, two aid workers, S Saran district, workers named as that, I you know, failed to make contact two weeks ago, aid workers presumed, uh, robbed and killed, message end. Ah... Huh. Is there any other messages that I need to... Uh. Okay, I don't think so. What are these? Huh. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Uh, these are unauthorized. Okay, just, just for cover? No, that's... These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. Because I was going to say, as far as I'm aware, you can't do that chemical warfare shit. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need them. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. Damn, I kind of wish I would have went back You're now. Feeling lucky, Lance Corporal. Not done that shit, but well, my it is what it is. Horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Oh, uh, glitchy glitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Almost <sighs> complete. Scare the shit out of me. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Oh, no. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Well, I'm just being polite. Because I'm a polite person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I pl I'm sorry. <laughs> Salem Orth Orthman. Stubborn and something else. Wait, is the game audio not picking up at all? Oh, son of a bitch. I swear to God. Zane! And a gate! Zane? Uh, find Zane. Search Zane's room. Okay. Wherever that may be. Oop. Let's see here. What does this say? Uh, Highgate University Shield. Mr. Zane. Othman. 
uh, that address, uh, March 3rd, 2003, application number that, uh, dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology, uh, AB in academic year 2003 to 2004, which commences on September 2nd, 2003. Uh, this offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements. Failing with the, or yeah, failing which the university will deregister you from the course of study offered. Completion of your college studies uh, to the project AAB standard of grades obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist you, will assist in, in and support your visa application in every way. Of, for every 120 years, Highgate University helps talented young individuals from all walks of life. Ooh, sorry, excuse me. Achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking in your own journey to uh, success. Uh, sincerely, Andrew McHollister, uh, Director of Admissions. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Huh. Interesting. Well, that's outside, so that's not his room. Anything in here? I don't think so. No. Nope. Nope. Not nothing there. Oh. Zane? I, it's not what I clicked on, but all right. <laughs> uh, ancient Mesotomium uh, mythology, Dr. Schwenke um, Amant. The heavens were no place for mortals. The some marines believed that the sky was formed for a configuration of domes. Each hewn from a different precious stone. The outmost dome embo embodied and embodied an the god of sky, the middle dome, was home to the gods of heaven, and the lowmost dome was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesotomian myth. Uh, seven demons, seven thrones, even spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians, the stars and the planets each had their own 
de delative Atua was the son. Nana later altered uh, as Suin or Sin was the moon. Nur Nurgal was was a uh, scribed to Mars. Nabu to Mercury. Murdoch to Jerp Jupiter. In Nana to Venus and Nintra Nin Nintra to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth blue, the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards to the world view. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It was no wonder that the Sumerians were were among the world's first astronomers. They charted the positions of stars, identified planets, and potted the movements of constel constellations. Although surviving records from the period uh, are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesotomian astronomy were passed to the Western world and formed the bias of the classic Gen Genshian sky maps. Huh. Is this a UK map? It looks like a UK map. Oh. Something there. Hmm. Something circled. Or a busy and tanny. Ah, but... Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Of course. Did you forget? Yes, I forgot. He's Zain with... With... He's Zain with your father. Yes, he's Tariq. Yes, they're together. Uh, I have a gift for him. I found stolen goods. Uh, you know what? Let's just say I have a gift for him. كله تمام. أصلاً كان عيد ميلاده وأنا جبت له هدية. آه لما يرجع أبعته لي حالاً. ما أقدرش أقول إمتى هيجو. إنت عارف الولاد. أي وقت. أبعته لي لو سمحت. كابتن بصري اهلا انا مولاي لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السلم العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا. Uh, I must find my son. Wow. ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم. ابني محتاجني. ده امر يا جندي. مش طبيعي. اخ. ده واجب عليك. فهمت؟
her galbe dorayım. Ah shit. Allah seda. Di, akşam muhimba. Coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. <laughs> I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, damn. How long have you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. <laughs> yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn, yeah, Rachel. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the fuck y'all laughing at? Me? What do you mean? <laughs> Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. You all good, buddy? Can I count on you? Actually, yeah, I, I, I... Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I count on you? I'll ask you one more time. Can I count on you? Yeah, I got you. Um, supportive. I've got your back. Yeah. Got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? <laughs> it's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky. Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. Oh, wow. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 Okay. American, the Asakir, the American group. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Uh, assault the uh, fan out and hold fire. Uh, fan out and hold fire. 
We're gonna sigh out to this shit. I don't know what that means. I don't know what's going on. Ah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna try to save everybody, but I'm, I'm probably gonna kill everybody. American. 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 Oh god. Ugh. Clear room! Clear! All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This raid's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Uh, we'll find it. Uh, they're just shepherds. Ah! We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any holdout Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the virgins. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? <laughs> yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلام؟ I'll make him talk. Your orders? Any orders? Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. Yeah, because I was like, I, I, I don't want to intervene. هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن؟ What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. I want out. Ada. Hata Rafa or are you? Uh, curious. What the fuck? Into can henna. Oh, did I cut myself? Oh shit, I did. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Ah, uh, what do I do? Oh, shit. Shit. Is there anything over here? No. Shit. Uh, Tell me where oh. the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed.
دي بندقية كبيرة قوي يا أخ أكتر من اللي أنت محتاجه للغنم فين مدخل المخزن؟ أوه oh. You know what? I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna do that again and I'll tear you up into pieces and feed you to the fucking jackals. Cause if I do that then I'm just as bad as them. And, yeah. Yeah. In the other hood. All of me. Keep a firm eye on this one. Well that and if I if we're like semi nice, you know what I mean? Like we can get information out of them. I mean every inch of it. Look under every bed, shed, and outhouse. The entrance to the silo is close by. Go find it. Oh shit, shit. There's shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo, where's all the tracks? No. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Are they in here, or is it the other...? Oh. Yeah. Why would they need gas masks if there's nothing chemical war warfare? You know what I mean? Oh. oh! Oh! Shit. That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. Wait, that was just heroin? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit. Oh, Joey! Not Joey! Ah, uh, motherfucker! Oh shit. Shit fucking fuck. Down, get down. They're up on the ridge. Return fire. Go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I I, I thought I did. I don't know if I did anything good or not, but Go. Fuck. Right now, 
Daddy said we had to leave him at home, right? What is your orders, Marine? That ain't an option we got anymore. Oh, bullshit! I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Shit! I pressed the wrong button, goddammit. Dying, Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. <coughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. I. <gasps> Joey is dead. Say it, Prima. This is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting worse? I don't know if it can or not. Down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Uh, I can't do it. I can't. He's not armed. He, I can't do it. Fuck. Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? Shit. You better not miss. Uh, regroup with allied forces find Jason okay so I think I'm gonna leave this episode here but I think I didn't capture the audio of the game um so I'm gonna have to go back and replay just so I can get the audio so if the audio is slightly off or I mean I guess I could just like get audio from the game you know what I mean? Just like, just where they're talking and then silence-ish. 
I, but I find my idea a little bit better just so it's kind of sort of there. So, like, there won't be really footsteps. It'll mostly just be dialogue and, like, back stuff. You know, just so there's some audio. But, yeah, that's on me. That is my mistake. I apologize. But so far, this is actually quite intriguing. I don't know 100%. It almost gives me, like, the mummy vibes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of getting those mummy vibes and I'm kind of digging it. So... Um, with that being said, like I said, this, I'm going to leave episode one right here for now and, um, let me know. Uh, so I'm, so once I'm done with House of Ashes, if they have another one, obviously I'm going to get that one. But if they don't, I did purchase the quarry, the qu quarry, quarry, quarry. I, I'm probably saying it completely wrong, but, but whatever. Um, so that one is next on my uh, games to play next. But if there's any, like, Steam games that you want me to play, any other PlayStation games, I kind of do want to play the, um, Uncharted series just because I watched the Uncharted movie and hated every second of it. It didn't even make me laugh once. And you know that's a bad movie because I will laugh at the dumbest shit sometimes. And if that movie didn't even make me laugh, when the Uncharted series is one of the best and hilarious games. I, yeah, it's a whole thing I could get into, but that's for another day or time, or even if for camera, but uh, I was so disappointed with that. I, I was so disappointed, dude. Because I'm like, are you shitting me right now? I'm like, oh, like... It could have been great. It could have been, but just they kept missing the marks and just, ah, uh, just, it, it, it fell into the, the video game movie curse. It did. And I, it sucks to say that it did, but it did. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode one. I don't know if I'm going to do this weekly. Who knows? More than likely I'll finish the game and then do it out weekly because that's kind of the, my best option in general. So... Um, I will see you for the next episode whenever that will be. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, <laughs> bye. Never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make.